So today, I'm going to show you how to determine if an equation is linear. In other words, if I was to graph the equation, would it form a straight line? And I've got six example equations to go through so you get an idea of how to do this. But the key to determining if an equation is linear is this form of equation right here, y equals mx plus b. Remember, this is called slope-intercept form, all right? Because m, the number next to x, is the slope. And b, the number added without an x next to it, is the y-intercept. So if we can use algebra to rearrange an equation to get it into this form, we know it's a line because it'll be in slope-intercept form, all right? So let's do a few examples so you can kind of get an idea of how to do this. All right, so for the first one, 3y minus 5x equals 12. Okay, so if we can rearrange it to look like this, then we know it's linear. So in order to get y by itself, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add 5x to get rid of this. But what I do to one side, I do to the other side of the equal sign. Now, when I do that, the 5x's undo each other, but the 3y drops down, the equals drops down, and on the other side, I can't add 5x to 12s, so I'll leave them separate, 5x plus 12, okay? I've almost got y by itself, but I need to divide by three to get rid of that three. What I do to one side, I'll do to the other. Threes undo each other, the y drops down, the equals drops down, now on the other side, 5 divided by 3, I'll leave that as 5 thirds, don't forget my x, plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now look, I got y by itself. Now what I do is just check to see, is it in the same format as this? Do I have y equals something x plus something? Look, I do. y equals 5 thirds x plus 4. So notice, this is linear. Yes, it is. Because I know the slope of my line is 5 thirds. The y-intercept of my line is 4. y equals something x plus something. It's in slope-intercept form. Okay, let's do another one. y plus 3x squared equals 7x squared plus 11. Okay, again, I'm going to see if I can get it into this form. So I need y by itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 3x squared. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side, the equal sign. All right, when I do that, three x's undo each other, but the y drops down, the equal sign drops down. On the other side, seven x squared, take away three x squared, leaves me with four x squared. And then the plus 11 just drops down. And notice, I got y by itself. Now the question is, is this in the same format as slope-intercept form? Is it in the y equals something x plus something form? Let's see. y equals something x squared plus something. Notice, it's really close to this form, but it's x squared. No, this is not linear. It looks very similar to slope-intercept form, but notice slope-intercept form has just x, not x squared. Makes it a different kind of graph. All right, let's do another one. y plus three equals five divided by x plus 24. Okay, again, gotta get y by itself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is subtract three. What I do to one side, I have to do the other. All right, so the threes undo each other, but the y drops down, the equals drops down. On the other side, the five divided by x drops down, because I didn't even do anything to it. And then 24 minus 3 is 21, so plus 21. And notice, I got y by itself. Now, is this in the same format of, as this in slope-intercept form? Notice, it's close again, but this time it's y equals something divided by x plus a number. We need y equals a number times x. This is not linear. All right? All right, example number four, here we go. Two equals eight x divided by y. All right, we've gotta get y by itself, and right now it's being divided by y, so I'm gonna 
multiply both sides by y. All right, when I do that, two times y is two y equals drops down. On the other side, dividing by y and multiplying by y undo each other. So I'm left with eight x. And notice I've almost got y by itself, but now I just have to divide by two. What I do to one side, I do to the other. Now the twos undo each other, y drops down, equals drops down, and eight x is divided by two is four x. Now the question is, is this, now that I've got y by itself, in the same format as this? Well, it's really close here. y equals something x plus something. This one doesn't have a plus something. But when it doesn't have a plus something, you could think of it as plus zero, right? So really, if you look here, it is in slope intercept form. Notice, if I was to graph this line, it would have a slope of four and a y-intercept of zero. Yes, this is linear. All right, we've got two more examples and they're a little bit harder, so here we go. This first one's pretty complicated. 10y plus 2x equals five times x plus six in parentheses. So I've got parentheses there, I'll use my distributive property. When I do that, five times x is five x plus five times six is 30. Okay, and then I'll drop all the other side down. Okay. Now remember, we want to get y by itself. So my next step, I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. All right, so 2x's undo each other, 10y drops down, equals drops down. On the other side, 5x's take away 2x's is 3x's, and then I'll drop down the plus 30. I've almost got y by itself, but notice it says 10 times y, so I'm going to divide by 10. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. All right, let's see what happens. 10 divided by 10 leaves me with just one whole y equals, on the other side, 3 divided by 10 is 3 tenths x plus 30 divided by 10, 3. And I've got y by itself. Now the question is, is this a line? Well, look it y equals something x plus something. This is in slope intercept form. So, yes, this is linear. It has a slope of 3 tenths and a y-intercept of 3. All right, one last one, here we go. y divided by x equals x plus 10. Notice, this time we've got y being divided by x, and I wanna get y by itself, so in order to undo dividing by x, I'm gonna multiply by x. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the entire other side. Okay, so when I do that, multiplying and dividing by x undo each other, so I'm left with just y, drop down my equal sign. On the other side, x multiply by all of this, so I have to use the distributive property here. x times x is x to the second power, plus, x times 10 is 10x. And look, I've got y by itself. Okay, so now we just need to check to see if this is in slope intercept form. Does it show as y equals something x plus something? Well, we do have a y equals something x over here, but look, I have another x term over here. I would need y equals something x plus a regular number. And right now I have I sort of have y equals something x, but this is an x squared. No, this is not linear, all right? If this was a regular number like y equals seven plus 10x, that would work, but not with an x squared. We can't have an x squared, another variable in there, all right? So the key to determining if an equation is a linear equation is using algebra, rewrite it, to see if you can get it into slope intercept form. If you can, then you know it's linear. If you get y by itself and it cannot get into slope intercept form, it is not linear, okay? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck in your math and I will see you next time.